the work that I do is I try to do look at uh, damaged landscapes and try to restore them. The trouble is I'm never satisfied with things as they are. I always like to see if I can make them a little bit better. As much as I love lakes, I've always been drawn to flowing water. As I got a bit older, I got into fly fishing, started spending a bit of time on the Upper Credit River around the Forks, and that river is beautiful. It's a very healthy system. It's got a lot of wood in it. It's got riffles and pools and runs. And I started looking at other rivers in Ontario and asking myself, why don't they look like that? Back in 2010, I retired from the Ministry of Natural Resources and moved back uh, to uh, Trotta Limited. I had been, took an unpaid leave of absence for about five years to work with Trotta Limited as their national biologist. I came back to Trotta Limited in 2010 to resume that, uh, that position and I've been with uh, Trotta Limited ever since. Uh, I just love tinkering around with things. I love taking a system that's not very healthy, that's maybe been fishless for a lot of years, working with the local community, local, local chapters of Trout Limited, other organizations and groups, and over time watching that system come back to health. Uh, the biggest challenges with our work is convincing people of what needs to be done in order to make their, their landscape healthier. The greatest benefit we have are the people we work with, and the greatest challenge we have are the people we have to uh, convince. And uh, like everything else, people um, Get, see things as they as they are. I see things as they could be, and the challenge is get, is trying to convince uh, communities and individuals that live on watersheds that they could have a bit better and healthier system. The volunteers we have are spectacular. They work their rear ends off. They do phenomenal work, and we're really happy to have them. And once they they're committed and they understand the process and, and understand what we're trying to do, sometimes the biggest challenge we have is slowing them down. Never be satisfied with the minimum standard. Try to work with the private sector and business to try to get the best out of change. That means actually not thinking as a regulator, but as a manager and an environmental restoration specialist. And I think that's where we should be going.